sometimes wish I could turn back the hands of time. I wish I could give myself a second chance at a moment in life. How differently I would handle that situation. How much more time and thought I would put into making that moment mean so much more. Time moves at the speed of light sometimes and it's impossible to slow down. It'd be nice to be able to take a moment, pause it, reverse it, put it in slow-mo. But I guess life wouldn't be that precious if we all had that supernatural ability. If I could redo my watch collecting journey, would I change anything? Lots of times I daydream about owning other watches, but the thought and emotion always ends with, it would be nice, or I'll just save up more money and can add it at a later date. Oftentimes this leaves me in a space where no watch is collected, or my interest moves on to the next thing. What defines individuality are the things that break down the barriers of decision paralysis. Five years ago, I started to learn about the Enneagram. Some of us are motivated by security and feeling safe. Some of us are motivated by justice. Some of us are motivated by peace and tranquility. I'm motivated by bringing value into every situation, and it's through this lens I tend to operate in this world. Value is the most important part of watch collecting, especially if you're a working class professional like myself with a limited budget. When I got introduced to the world of microbrands, my whole perspective on watch collecting changed. My brain went from maybe one day to, wait, so you're telling me I can have all of this for under a thousand dollars? It makes the unattainable feel reasonable. It builds the character of your collection and shows that you show support to your peers and breathes life into a hobby that was once filled with socioeconomic tropes and high class status symbolism. I don't regret any of my watches. There's a special love and intention with every purchase I've made. There are some grails I've acquired that will stay forever, and there will be some that I send to the trading block or list on eBay. The beauty of collecting is the constant evolution, but sometimes there is a watch that comes around that if I could change how I did things, I would create space and budget to be able to add it to my collection. I wanted to ask you, how did you start this project? For sure. Given your background, how did you get to this point of creating this piece of this work of art? And what were the first initial steps? And then sure. what, in, what inspired the, yeah, what inspired the design? No, certainly. So um, I've been buying, getting, collecting watches uh, for for as long as I can remember. Uh, certainly, you know, after I received my first paycheck, when when I can start to afford uh, some some proper watches, and I've collected a gamut of uh, different brands, right? From you know, your entry Seikos, your Citizens, your Time Access, and as my uh, collecting journey progressed, and I went on to some of the usual suspects, the usual luxury. Marks like your Rolexes, your EPs, or your, your PAMs. Um, so there's always been this um, very strong love and passion for watches uh, and their designs as well. And I'll say that the first watch that really um, st that struck straight to the heart for me uh, was actually the Patek Philippe Nautilus 5711. Right? I remember as a young boy. You know, just mm -hmm. lazing around in the afternoon. Um, I just picked up uh, this copy of a magazine that was just lying around the, the living room. I was just flipping through it uh, and somehow I landed on a full page advertisement of the 5711. Mm -hmm. And that really struck me hard because for the first time in my life, um, a, a watch to me transcended the ostensible purpose of the watch, which is you know to, to measure mark time. It's, it really elevates this product into something which is uh, you know, a work of art, you know, a work of beauty, of culture. 
um, even an icon, right? Something that measures time, but in a way is also very timeless that stands outside of time because he has reached the, the status of, of something iconic. The case size sits perfectly at 38 millimeters. The lug to lug is 46 millimeters. The lug width is 20 millimeters and the thickness excluding the crystal is 9.5 millimeters. The crystal is sapphire with up to six layers of anti-reflective coating. The push-pull crown is one of the best and most unique crowns I've ever handled. The size is perfect. The grip texture is done beautifully and features a domino pattern. The attention to detail is insane. This is a hand wind only movement so the crown completes and elevates the experience of this watch to the highest level. The small detail of beveling adds such a nice touch. The crown isn't sign, but there is a red dot in the center, which I interpret as a nod to Royce's home, Singapore. For those that don't know, Singapore's nickname is Little Red Dot. Great design is subjective, everyone has their own taste, and with that being said, this dial is one of the most beautiful and unique I've ever laid eyes on. I'll give you space to disagree, but your opinions won't take away from how this watch makes me feel when I look at it. The materials and textures used, the three-dimensionality, the colors, the logo, the perfect symmetry. The Somerset is Royce's take on a sector dial. You can see the sector theme play into the dial with the teardrop indices at the 12, 3, 6, and 9. The Somerset features a teardrop motif that represents the importance of water in our lives. Water stands for new life, vitality, hope, and optimism. Along with the teardrop indices at the 12, 3, 6, and 9, the hands are also teardrop shaped, which completes the motif and brings the whole concept together. It's one of those things that can go forever unnoticed, but once it gets brought into the light, it brings life to the watch and tells a great story. The Somerset's flared lugs are perfect. Mixing polished and matte finishing complements the S-shaped polished bezel. And the aggressive look of the lugs takes this watch out of the traditional 1960s inspired dress watch category. The dial combined with the perfectly symmetrical lugs gives the Somerset its own identity. This watch can be dressed up and dressed down and with 200 meters water resistance is the perfect everyday watch. Because to me, water stands for new life, right? So it stands for vitality, stands for creativity, dynamism. And the importance of water as an element for, for, for life really stands out to me, especially since I moved to Saudi Arabia for work, right? It's such a dry, sunny, parched country, and, and water is really so precious here. So that yeah. adds yet another dimension to me as to why you know this 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 water drop uh, means so much to me, and if you look at the delta hands, uh, the hour, minute, and the tip of the small second, they're also um, elongated forms of the teardrop to continue yeah. this teardrop theme. And finally, when it comes to the lux, um, the lux is a very interesting design challenge. Um, I personally love uh, Vacheron's uh, Con de Vache. Yeah. The, the, the challenge then is that how can I be inspired by that, but yet at the same time update that look and modernize it and in a way ruggedize it, which is why you have this very dramatic flat lux that is pinched as well uh, right in the middle and I apply differential finishing to it from high polish to sandblasted followed by high polish. I'm actually amazed that you were able to put rate this watch at 200 meters water resistance. Yes without a screw down crown that's right um, and this has been tested yeah this the, the claims have been tested yeah which um and i think that 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 is an amazing feat to do and really gives me peace of mind and makes and pu and really pushes this watch into the everyday everyday wear category for me indeed the edc yeah. category yes for sure i've been i've been sleeping with this thing on I have to wow. let you know, I, I haven't, the only time I take it off is when I shower and I've been wearing okay. it consistently since the day I got it. Um, I had a photo shoot yesterday and got multiple compliments from my colleagues and oh, it fantastic. was, yeah, it was amazing. Um, just like so happy to hear that. having people get excited about watches, you know, yeah. and then being able to present them this new idea. Flipping the watch over, we are introduced to a beautifully finished Salita SW210. 42-hour power reserve, manual wind only. Accuracy is within standard range. There's no COSC certification. 
During the month I've been test driving this watch, it's never slipped more than 20 to 30 seconds from perfect time. The movement is decorated beautifully, but one addition to the wheel bridge that I love is Tenant's visual logo, which is an eight-point star. The star represents Tenant's clarity of purpose, direction, and is also a symbol of protection, strength, and energy. The case back is screw-in with a sapphire crystal. The strap pairings of the three Somerset watches are perfect, and they are made by Singapore-based strap manufacturer Delux. Delux also created the travel case the Somerset comes in. Really high quality leather and stitching. The clasp is polished and features an 8-point star logo. There are two Easter eggs I wanted to point out about the dial. First is the loom. The loom is two different colors and not sure if this is intentional, but they are pastel Easter colors. Kind of like Easter eggs, it's kind of cool. The second is the logo. Tenant is a palindrome and it's perfectly balanced. Reading it forward and backwards, it says 1010, which is the time most watches are displayed when shown online. 1010 is the perfect display of balance in a handset and the sector dial is perfectly balanced. The lugs are balanced. Honestly, this watch is perfect. And I think what I really want is, is also to deliver that joy to um, to the customer, right? That again, seemingly it's a simple watch, but when you have it before you, when you do wear it, you'll over your wearing, you know, ownership experience, you keep discovering little subtleties. Uh, you make little discoveries that will bring that spark, bring that joy to you. Hence the sector yeah, really. dial, hence the differential finishing that gives mm -hmm. a certain depth to the watch as well. The name, the Easter egg when it comes to the loom finishing. So all that is meant to deliver that the, the extra package that, that may not be so easily discernible at a very quick or first glance alone. This next part is not meant to indoctrinate anyone. It's not my intention to force feed religion down anyone's throats. And if you're turned off by religion, I completely understand, and you can exit out this video now. With that being said, I was raised Christian and my faith is an important part of my journey. Starting a YouTube channel in my late 30s was not an easy decision, but something I've been praying for in my life is alignment. My hope and dream is to align my passions and interests with my career. I'm a photographer and filmmaker by trade, and more and more my desire is to make a living filming and photographing things that have meaning to me. Working in advertising can be soul-sucking, and sometimes makes me question all the decisions I've made to lead me to this point. Watch collecting is a great distraction and a fun hobby. It's something that has helped me focus my energy and keeps me busy. Watches are the beautiful intersection of technology and artistic perspective. Watches can make you feel everything from all over the spectrum of emotion, but this watch made me feel something different. My time spent with this watch was spiritual. The hidden meaning in the design of this watch brought something out of me that I thought a watch could never do. Starting with the case back, Nolite to Mary is engraved at the nine o'clock side. Nolite to Mary is Latin for do not be afraid. This is a powerful phrase spoken throughout the Bible and in many passages was said by Jesus himself. Regarding the eight-point star logo on the wheel bridge and clasp, the eight-point star in Christianity is referred to as the star of Bethlehem, which is the star the three wise men follow to meet Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. The eight-point star is sometimes referred to as the star of redemption, which symbolizes rebirth and resurrection. The water motif ties in beautifully because Jesus is referred to as living water in the Bible. Water refreshes and cleanses. Jesus uses water to wash the feet of his disciples. Jesus asked for a drink of water moments before dying on the cross. Water is one of the most important things in my life. I drink one glass right when I wake up and one glass before I go to sleep. The red dot on the crown is a nod to Singapore but I also think it could represent the blood of Jesus that was shed for the sins of the world. During the Last Supper, Jesus broke bread and poured wine, bread representing his body, wine representing his blood. The loom lighting up in fun pastel -y Easter colors ties in with the theme as well. Easter is the celebration of Jesus' resurrection. 
It is the cornerstone of my religion and brings to the center everything about what I believe. Lastly, the name of the brand, Tenant. Merriam-Webster defines the word tenant as a principle, belief, or doctrine generally held to be true, especially one held in common by members of an organization, movement, or profession. Living life as a full-time freelance creative person has its challenges. During the slow months, there's a lot of stress, lots of worry. My faith gets tested and lots of times I question if watch collecting is ethical. Does it represent me to the fullest and does it abide by the code I have chosen to live by? Spending time with the Somerset over the past month has brought so much back into perspective. This watch has become a symbol for me and a reminder to not be afraid. I want to thank Royce and the tenant team for loaning me this watch. And whether you intended to or not, for reminding me that the most beautiful thing about life is that there are no such thing as coincidences.